It turns out that the COVID super spreader event over at the CDC headquarters was actually significantly larger than previously reported. Because you see, despite the nonstop messaging that's been coming out of the CDC, every once in a while, there's an event that pops a hole in their well-crafted narrative. With one of the most recent and perhaps more, most ridiculous examples being the CDC event that was held over by the CDC headquarters, which experienced a massive COVID outbreak, despite the fact that nearly everyone in attendance was vaccinated. But as ridiculous as that was in and of itself, it gets even wilder because we here at the Epic Times, we were able to successfully file a Freedom of Information Act request through which we obtained internal documents from within the CDC itself, and they showed something surprising. They showed that for one, the outbreak was significantly larger than the CDC had previously reported, and that secondly, despite what the CDC said, people were actually hospitalized. They said no one was hospitalized, but that wasn't true. However, in order to explain what's really going on here, let's start at the very beginning. About three months ago, there was a conference held for staff members of the CDC over at a hotel in Atlanta, Georgia. It was called the 2023 Annual Epidemic Intelligence Service Conference. And here was how the Washington Post described this conference as well as who was actually in attendance. Quote, the CDC's Epidemic Intelligence Service officers and alumni, the disease detectives deployed to identify and fight outbreaks, met on April 24th through the 27th at an Atlanta hotel. The conference drew 1,800 in-person attendees, the first in-person epidemic intelligence service gathering in four years. Like many conferences, it was crowded with much face-to-face -face contact, many events held in small rooms and lots of socializing. And so, in total, 1,800 CDC staff members wound up going to this event. And the specific staff members who went were exactly the people at the CDC who were part of the Epidemic Intelligence Service. They're the ones who work to get people vaccinated and track down the pathway of spread for COVID-19 and other viruses. They're basically these guys right here who investigate different viral outbreaks across the country. Now, taking a quick glance at the agenda for the event, there were sessions titled Monkeypox, Public Health Surveillance, Vaccine Preventable Diseases, COVID-19 surveillance and response, and so on and so forth. So you kind of get a picture of the type of event that this was. However, on April 27th, which happened to be the very last day of the conference, well, something unusual happened. Several of the people in attendance began notifying the event organizers that they had tested positive for COVID-19. And naturally enough, because this was a conference of CDC epidemic intelligence officers, this alarm set off, you can say, a chain reaction. What wound up happening was that the CDC, alongside the Georgia Department of Public Health, they worked together in tandem to conduct a survey of all the attendees to try and figure out how many people in total had actually tested positive for COVID. They essentially saw this as a great opportunity to test their ability to track transmission. In fact, here was how the CDC themselves described the goal of the survey that they undertook. Quote, the goals were to learn more about transmission that occurred and add to our understanding as we transition to the next phase of COVID-19 surveillance and response. Okay, so that was the goal of the survey. Then in terms of the results, here's what the CDC initially reported, again, three months ago. 80% of the attendees wound up filling out the survey, which is about 1,440 attendees. And among the respondents, the CDC said that 181 of them tested positive for COVID. So when you do the math, that's about a 12% positivity rate. And as you would imagine, the researchers found that the more seminars a person attended, the more likely he or she was to contract COVID. Here's in fact what the official CDC statement said on the matter, again, released three full months ago. Quote, not surprisingly, there was an increased chance of infection the longer participants attended the conference and the more events they participated in. Specifically, respondents who tested positive reported attending the conference on average for all four days. And the risk of infection was 70% greater among those who attended for three or more days versus those who attended for two or fewer days. But here's the kicker. Every single person who tested positive was vaccinated. Every single individual who wound up contracting COVID at the CDC event had already received the vaccine, which makes sense given the fact that this was a CDC conference after all. And according to a CDC spokesperson, quote, nearly all respondents, 99.4% to the survey, had received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. And there were few unvaccinated attendees in general.